tonight made as a tribute to the many who have fallen and the two who survive, heroes who laid the foundations that we stand upon today as we try to understand the enormity of what they did. Melbourne's Today Tonight, 6.30 on 7. Seven Nightly News with David Johnston and Anne Fullwood. Tonight, the pride of Australia, flying the flag for our true blue party. Sir Gustav's vision, a clever choice, leads the honours list. And joining the queue to salute the spirit of our nation. Good evening. Also on this special day, an embarrassing double take for a Jumbo's celebration fly past. Australia Day 2000 has been welcomed with unprecedented scenes of national fervour and calls to quicken the pace of Aboriginal reconciliation. Here in Melbourne, a symbolic new beginning as people from all walks of life joined the Millennium March. Darren Linton begins our special coverage. Well, one of the most publicised Australia Day events was a low-level jumbo flight over Melbourne, but its early arrival turned it into a public relations embarrassment. Today, we also recognise the achievements of our most famous, world-renowned medical researcher Sir Gustav Nossel, named Australian of the Year. A man of science and a humanitarian, Sir Gustav says he'll use his award to further the cause of Aboriginal reconciliation. Across the nation, 430 people are the pride of Australia. Led by historian Geoffrey Blaney and the shopping centre billionaire Frank Lowy, they have been named in the Australia Day Honours List. And certainly not retiring from the weather news, David Brown, good evening to you. Good evening, Anne. Well, and as we saw earlier, a mix of sunshine and rain today for the Seekers Outdoor Concert. A top of only 25 degrees. And for all the fans, here's a little bit more from Judith and Kate. Still going strong, and of course I'll be back after sport with all the weather news. Thanks David. In a moment, another milestone for Colonial Stadium. And a warm welcome home for Melbourne's Ice Couple as our special Australia Day coverage continues. Well, today's showers made it a good time for the landmark first test of the roof at Colonial Stadium. The two signs, sides lined up perfectly, taking about 20 minutes to close. The stadium builders say the successful trial means it's on target for the gala opening on March 9, when Essendon will beat Port Adelaide. <laughs> Is that right? Well, Jim Wilson, the roof also got a workout at Melbourne Park this afternoon. It certainly did, Anne, but it didn't stop Martina Hingis from steamrolling her way into the semi-finals, but a scare for the Woodies on the outside courts. Happy Australia Day, David and Anna. Don't forget the special time of tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, right after today, tonight, Agassi versus Sampras. A lot of excitement around here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you, Jim. David Brown back with all today's weather news next. And a special arrival, our newest little Australian. Tonight, Bud Tingwell's special Australia Day tribute to the sacrifices of a generation. Plus, we talk to the Australian of the Year after the news. Good evening. The heavens open this afternoon. A real dampener for Australia Day celebrations. And as we can see from radar, there is still quite a lot of rain sweeping in from the west. The maximum temperature was 24.9 degrees. Right now it's sitting on 18 and we can expect 21 tomorrow. Around the state, low to mid-20s in most areas this afternoon, although Horsham tops called with 31 degrees. And from the satellite, it was this deepening trough which in fact brought the uh, rain and thunderstorms to our corner of the world today. There have been some good falls like 13 millimetres at Ararat between 9 and 3 this afternoon. And there is a low in here. In fact, it is gradually heading for the uh, Tasman Sea. It should strengthen as it moves off the uh, New South Wales coast tomorrow morning. We can see that here and uh, that will maintain rather cool and strong southerly winds over Victoria. That means rain for Gippsland and showers for 
well, most of the state. As we take a look around the nation for tomorrow, Brisbane can expect a late thunderstorm, 30 degrees. More rain in Sydney, 27. Adelaide should be fine, 23 degrees. Perth, lots of sunshine and a fine top of 32. For the state, more rain in eastern and central areas tomorrow with some showers here in the southwest corner. Up in the Mallee, it should be fine and mostly sunny, but it will be very windy along the coastal fringe. And for the bays, a strong wind warning is current. Those southerly winds should average around 30 knots, and that means rough seas. As for Melbourne, more rain, possible thunderstorms tonight. A few showers tomorrow with a rather cool and gusty southerly. Top temperature there of 21 degrees. And as we look further ahead on Friday, a morning shower, then fine, 23. Saturday should be mainly dry and 21 degrees. Sunday, fine, 22. A little bit warmer for Monday. Tuesday, around 25. And Wednesday of next week should be fine, mostly sunny, and maximum in the high 20s. Well, that's the latest weather, Anne. Thank you very much. And we've got the latest and newest Australian here, our first baby born this Australia Day 2000. Madeline Azapardi came into the world just after midnight, and today she was the centre of attention at the Royal Women's Hospital with hugs and kisses from big sister Jasmine. The parents, Ascot Vale couple Kevin and Tanya, say that Madeline's birth certainly made this national day very special for them. And hugs and kisses from us for, yes. uh, for Australia yeah. Day. That's 7 News for Australia Day 2000. And tomorrow, a special look at the first day of school. Now, more on our day of national pride. Happy Australia Day, Naomi. Same yes. to you both. Thank you.